All right, welcome back. Sorry there's no webcam today. The house is a little bit of a mess because we're in the process of moving and my girlfriend does not want people to see the house in a slightly messy state. So that's why there's no webcam today. But I figured I'd go over <clears throat> the .emacs or my Emacs configuration briefly because configuring Emacs to get it usable is half the battle. And I figured I'd go over my packages first because that's kind of the most interesting part, I think. And these are all of the packages that I have installed. Perspective, which is a way to keep the buffers that you have open separated. So <clears throat> when I type control X, control B, I have way more buffers open than just these ones. These are just ones that I have for configuring Emacs, essentially. I can switch to a different buffer with control X, X, and then S, and then I've got one sort of on the boot process on OpenBSD and everything's zoomed in way too far so it looks like total trash, but <clears throat> If I do a control X B here, you can see that there's just 110 buffers open for that perspective. So I'll go back to the .emacs file here. <clears throat> That's what perspective does. Markdown mode is just syntax highlighting for when I'm editing buffers that are for that are written in markdown pdf tools is how i view pdfs in emacs github dash markdown renders markdown documents in emacs so that they look how they would roughly on github rust mode is syntax highlighting for rust multiple cursors i don't really use that much but it is kind of cool it lets you have multiple cursors in a buffer at one time and then have them all type the same thing. And then SMEX is just a, when you type meta X, it shows the commands that I have run most recently <clears throat> so that if I've run a long command recently but I don't remember what it was, it's in here essentially. And it does loose matching too. So if you just start typing stuff, it will match things even if it's not exact. So for example, if I type big, it'll match big at the end of the word, not just at the beginning. It's pretty nice like that. If I do <clears throat> PDF, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's nice. It's based on I do, which is included with Emacs, but was originally a package, I think. So let's go down to the very end and you'll see how you configure all of these. So I do, I just mentioned, that is like SMEX, except it works for Control X B. So if I type Control X B, it shows me the buffers that I've been in most recently instead of me just having to like guess or pull up the whole buffer list using Control X Control B. I also have require package, so most of the packages that I've just mentioned are not available in the default Emacs configuration. You have to add this package archive to your Emacs configuration to get those packages. PDF tools install, that's how you get PDFs uh, <clears throat> to work on this Emacs. There's a lot of configuration involved, or not a lot, but just a little bit of configuration involved. My GitHub has a little readme walkthrough, github.com slash ccwadi. And just like that, ccwadi. And then I believe the repo is dot. But that's my dot file configuration. And it shows you how to set all that up on OpenBSD. It's easier on Linux 
<clears throat> it just kind of works, I think. But you have to restart Emacs to get that all to work. Everything else here is pretty straightforward. This just rebinds my MX command to use the SNEX command, which I guess probably stands for Super MX <clears throat> or something like that. <clears throat> and this is the old MX command. And then multiple cursors, I have it set up to where Control C M and then E, you have to mark a set of lines first. So the way that you do that is do Control X space to enter rectangle mode. And then if you do something like this and then type Control C multiple cursors, and then E for edit lines, you can see that I've got four cursors here, and I can type, oh, I'm in read-only mode here. So CME, and then type stuff like that. It's pretty, pretty neat, I would say. So, <clears throat> and then just control G to get out of it. You can also, if you highlight a word like map, and then do control C, M, and then M, it'll put a cursor at the next match of whatever you've highlighted. So then I could type stuff like this, and it would work. So, <clears throat> control G to get out of that. Control C, M, P does the same thing in the reverse direction. So, yeah, I want to revert it. I didn't make any changes, but that's easier than typing undo a bunch of times. And then perspectives, I just talked about. It gives you a way to have all of your buffers related to a certain thing in one logical container. And you can also set it up so that your perspectives get saved automatically when you quit with this line. And uh, you can also <clears throat> have it so that it only shows you which perspective you're in. So if you don't have this set to true, this will show you all of your perspectives down here where it says main. But if you have it set to true, it'll only show what perspective you're in currently. And you sort, I have them sorted by last access. And then uh, I also have it set to load my perspectives file automatically when I start up Emacs so that all of my saved buffers get loaded when I restart Emacs. And uh, this just is a sort of a sub mode for Control X, Control B to make it all <clears throat> look a little nicer, I think, than the default. <clears throat> so. That's really it for my packages. As far as everything else goes, <clears throat> I have this up on my GitHub under that same dots repo. <clears throat> if you are, I think I'll do a separate video on just the configuration. And actually, I've already made it, but the sound got messed up like halfway through. So that's it for this one. If you like this video, hit like. If you disliked it, hit dislike. And in either case, let me know down in the comments below why. And also let me know if you've got any questions, criticisms, or concerns. And uh, as always, if you want to get notified when I make new videos, hit subscribe. Thanks. Peace.